So in this question we have the planes with the lamina and we're asking to get the true inclination of the oblique plane to the horizontal plane and to the vertical plane. Now what that's going to look like is if I just get my 3D shape here, I have an oblique plane here cutting my vertical plane and my horizontal plane. As you know the oblique plane can go on for infinity. However I've just drawn the portion that I require. I'm looking for the angle of inclination that the oblique plane makes with first the horizontal plane and second the vertical plane. Now we're going to look first of all the horizontal plane. The horizontal plane is this line here. Now if I look into my elevation the horizontal plane becomes the XY line. So what they're asking me for is they want the angle of inclination between the oblique plane and the XY line. So I need to get my oblique plane as an edge view in an auxiliary elevation. It has to be an elevation view. Now, how I'm going to do that is, if I just come to my question here, I've drawn out my VTH. My horizontal trace is in my plan. Now, as we know, the horizontal trace is the oblique plane, and it's where the oblique plane cuts the plan, or the horizontal plane. So what I'm going to do is, using my set squares, I'm going to bring my horizontal trace up at my angle, parallel to my horizontal trace. I'm going to draw in an X, an X1 Y1 line. So there's my X1, Y1. Now as we know, this came from the plan, so this has to be an auxiliary elevation. Now my next problem is I need to get my vertical trace up here. I do not know any heights or any points, so I'm going to make up a point, and I'm going to call this point P. And from point P, I'm going to draw a vertical line. Now, I now know the height of that point where it hits the vertical trace. So I'm going to bring up point P parallel to my horizontal trace. Because this is an auxiliary elevation, I'm going to take the height of P in my elevation and mark it off. Sorry, I should have put this line in. So that's my height line, and this line now, that line is my vertical trace. So there's my horizontal trace as a point, and there's my vertical trace. I'm being asked, what is the angle of inclination between the oblique plane and the horizontal plane? I know this is the horizontal plane, and I know this is the oblique plane. So if I come along now and measure the angle... I get an angle of, in this question, 55 degrees. And that has given me so that is the angle of inclination of the oblique plane to the horizontal plane. Okay, so we found the angle of inclination of the oblique plane to the horizontal plane. The next thing I need to do is I need to get the angle of inclination of the oblique plane to the vertical plane. Now, if I come back here to my sketch, we know the vertical plane is this plane here. Now, if I go to a plan view, my vertical plane becomes a line. It becomes the XY line. So, in order to solve that, I need to get an auxiliary plan. The angle of my auxiliary plan is going to be coming down here. And I'm looking along my vertical trace. This is an X1, Y1. Because this has come from my elevation, this view down here is an auxiliary plan. Now, I have no points in that. I'm going to use my point P. However, my height or distance I'll be taking will be from P down this time. So I'm going to take my P 
and bring it down at the same angle as my vertical trace. And that's giving me point P, I should have left it up here, sorry, point P on the ground. Using my compass, I'm going to take the distance of the X, Y line to where it hits my horizontal trace and mark it. So that distance is the same as this distance. My vertical trace, I'm looking in on it, and my vertical trace has become a point. I'm going to connect this to this point here and extend, and that now has given me my horizontal trace. Now, what I need to do is I need to measure this. Using my protractor, and I'm getting an angle of 55. Now, that is a complete coincidence that these two are the same. It is a complete coincidence. It's just the oblique plane that we have is very symmetrical where it has hit in my vertical trace and my horizontal trace. Obviously, the more, uh, as you can see, they are very similar. The more of an angle that is created, this will change. So what I have here is the angle of inclination of the oblique plane to the vertical plane. Now, the big thing to take away from this question is the following. If you are asked for the horizontal plane, you must get an auxiliary elevation. If you're asked for the vertical plane, you must get an auxiliary plan. So those are two things that we need to know the difference between. 